take this job and shove it. That was the song that would not only become the best known performance of Johnny Paycheck, but would become a rallying cry for fed up employees everywhere. Today we are back at Woodlawn Memorial Park and Mausoleum in Music City, Nashville, Tennessee. Our journey brings us to the grave of Johnny Paycheck. Born Donald Eugene Lytle in Greenfield, Ohio on May 31, 1938, he would begin performing at a young age. He would perform in talent contests and would be singing professionally by age 15. He joined the Navy in the 50s and moved where all country artists longed to go here in Nashville. He would perform alongside several of the top stars of the late 50s and 60s and would reach the charts on his own in 1960. After convincing George Jones to hire him in the early 60s, he would contribute as a bass and steel guitar player and vocalist for Jones. He would even write and co-write songs and saw success in doing so. It would be in 1964 when he changed his name to Johnny Paycheck. The name actually came from a boxer from Chicago who went by the same name. He would chart a few songs during this time, but a new medium came to the forefront of country music and Paycheck would capitalize on it. Outlaw Country. He began crafting his image in the mid-70s to match the likes of other country outlaws like Willie Nelson and Waylon Jennings. He would have his most financial success during this time. Without a doubt, he is best remembered for his 1977 hit song, Take This Job and Shove It. Johnny Paycheck would have a long-term illness of emphysema and asthma and would pass away in 2003 at age 64. And now we are here at Woodlawn Memorial Park in Nashville, Tennessee to visit the final resting place of Johnny Paycheck. There are some interesting notes about his gravesite. The section that we are in is in actually a smaller section compared to the rest of this massive place. And as you may or may not have noticed, his grave is just to the foot of the man that Paycheck convinced to hire him, George Jones. And there is also a songwriter in this section that is responsible for several top country songs. And this is definitely the most star-studded cemetery in Nashville. I've been fortunate enough to visit the final resting place of several people here, both outside and inside of the mausoleum. And I'm glad that I was able to visit the grave of Johnny Paycheck. Are any of you out there fans of Johnny Paycheck, please leave your remembrances and comments. I love to read them. Are any of you out there fans of cemetery tours? Well, if you are, you have made it to the right channel. On my channel, we visit final resting places, historic places, do remembrances, short documentaries on those that have made their mark. I absolutely love taking you all, my viewers, along with me. Join our Wit Docs family by subscribing and joining us for more journeys. We are planning a huge road trip and you'll never know where we may end up. Another video of mine will be on the screen soon. It is my hopes that you will watch it. Once again, from Woodlawn Memorial Park in Nashville, Tennessee, I will see you again soon.